All right, we back on the couch. Uh, another edition with my man Nick. Say what up, Nick. What's up, my keys? Yeah, yeah, yeah. chilling. And um, I just finished my McDonald's cheeseburger. The joint was tasty. Drinking some Crystal Lights. It's too early for anything stronger, so chill out. <laughs> but we about to get right into uh, more music with uh, Nick Burns off of his upcoming album, Moonlight Radio. What's the name of this song? Don't Go. Before we <clears throat> go any further, in my zeal to hear you perform earlier, perform, perform, I had asked um, your musical influences. I didn't give you a chance to answer, so if you could tell the listeners in okay. the the Beatles, the the Rolling Stones, the Beach Boys. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I think Brian Wilson is a genius. Okay, now who's Brian Wilson? I don't know. Who Brian that is. Wilson is the um, he's the oldest brother in the Beach Boys. Basically. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, was that uh, Antigua, Bermuda? No, that was Mike Love. He, he that was one of the hits that Mike Love wrote. But See, um, Brian Antigua. Wilson wrote a lot of the good ones, like California Girls. Oh, of course. Um, Mike I'm wrote the words to it, but Brian wrote the melodies and everything. And I don't know. Brian was just a great genius with um all of his. So you don't hear that. You don't hear, you know, especially from, you know, your generation, Beach Boys is your musical influence. You know, you get a lot of people mentioning Bob Dylan or, you know, um, Well, I also love, like, Led like Zeppelin, Bob Marley, like I like, um, I don't know, ACDC. I like no, U2, not Morrison. Nirvana, Foo Fighters. See, I'm trying I mean, to sound loud when I said Morrison. You know, you got so many more after that, too. I love Elvis. I love some country. Love I love some country, you know. And what about hip hop? I'm hot. And hip hop, you know, I can't name some off the top of my head, but like a lot of the songs like I would listen to. All I wanna do is boom 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 boom. I don't know. I I think of oh, a lot of songs. Um, yeah, when songs come on, I'm like, oh great, but I don't know any of them names. 
So what about some of the more yeah. legends of hip hop like a Tupac or a Jay Z? Oh, Tupac. Like I don't know, like um Biggie Smalls. Whenever somebody puts on Biggie Smalls, okay. I'm like, Okay, I dig it. <laughs> but not Pac. I can't see the thing is like I can't name any off the top of my head. See, that's my responsibility is I gotta put you on to some pot because for okay. me, well, pot, you can do that. If I had to pick one, I mean Jay Z. Well, yeah, that's what it's about, you know, exchanging because you know you put me on. Uh, you said Brian uh, was, yeah. you know, and I'm you know from Cali, so of course Beach Boys, California Girls, that's something that you know you gotta appreciate, but. Good vibrations. Of course, yeah. you know and that you take me back. I mean, I was a kid growing up in Cali, listening to like George Michael, Wham. You know, waiting up before you go go, um, Guns and Roses, Sade. You know, my music influences um, come from all over. But Tupac, I mean, come on, he. For me, I fell in love with hip hop when I first heard Britney's Got a Baby. Now I had heard other hip hop, but like when I was a kid, like N.W.A., Ice T, that was like some scary, angry cop killing music, and I was like, you know, five or six years old, like uh, hip hop is scary, yeah. you know. So, I heard Pac in the early 90s, he had uh, Brenda's Got a Baby. And when I heard that, Brenda's Got a Baby about this 13-year-old girl who got pregnant by her cousin and became a prostitute and was killed. Like, the song told a story. And, like, who is this dude telling it with this Timberland jacket on, like, looking so cool? Mm -hmm. And then that, like, ushered in a new era of hip-hop where, you know, that brought in the Jay-Zs and the Biggies and all those guys. Because hip-hop became more stories. And then, of course, the originators were Slick Rick. And you know, they going got back. out of that stuff. Yeah, and just, or just that maybe they didn't get out of it, that they lived it. You know, that was mm-hmm. that story of the urban experience, and it goes back to Run DMC. I guess when I get into it, I get into, like, um... The commercial stuff. Oh, uh, shit, like... Bum, bum, oh, the R&B bum, side. Bum, <laughs> the party side. Yeah. Yeah, this is more the underground, the music. Yeah. You know, the culture <laughs> comes from the music. And these are the people, the originators, Africa, Vibata, you know, Professor Rex, where I get my name from, from X-Clan. You know, the people that, you know, your Chuck D and Public Enemy, you know, Run DMC, Grandmaster Flash, The Furious Five, like all of the, you know, the originators back in the 70s who created this this movement that was always at its roots of a movement. And the music was eventually, you know, co-opted by, you know, the industry and, you know, all of the, the corruption of the system, capitalism, the Illuminati, you know, all of that. Um, but at its roots, it just grew up, and it got, like everything else, hip-hop grew up, got a haircut, sold out, cut the dreads off, I dyed mine's blue, so what? Whatever that means. Alright, let's do some freestyling. Give me something fast, something fast and funky. What hip-hop was at its core. Yeah. Uh, yo, it's an expression from the mind, from the heart, from the third eye Beliefs like on the grass, you know there was a third guy Conspiracy theory, heresies about what I'm hearing So I'm out here doing something that's different than this parent Like Nightcrawler Banff, I'm coming through hot like an amp Hot like a lamp, I'm going through cause I'm amp I'm never gonna stop, I got me a stamp, it's an approval I don't need your approval, I'm doing something different than you do <laughs> Yeah, this is that crazy voodoo They say who do whatever they really say We out here all day, me and Nick Attack. This is a lyrical theme that's gonna do something to your cerebral cortex. I'm gonna lose you in the vortex of oblivion. This is something kind of dark like obsidian. I'm talking about the darkest nights like the river sticks. This is out here, something different than you thought it was. This is it, this is something different like Christmas. This the present, so hope that you're listening. Diamond stars glistening, that's why my name Marquis Harley. A conclusion as foregoing, my heart is sworn. This is the war torn world trying to do something like children of the corn. Move through the field, do what's real. I'm out here with 
pill the dreams, this is something it seems like it feels like an infinity of me trying to be something different than the enemy. I'm trying to do something, get more like Demi, got the Remy in me, so you know what it is, and I'm spinning. This is me like Charlie Sheen, I'm winning. Yeah, I got the tiger blood in my veins, I'm out here cause my pops did cocaine, so I'm crazy like Rick James. It is not hard to see that that boy spit propane. Yeah, <laughs> I'm like Tommy Hill. I'm out here doing it like Bobby Hill at the King, doing my thing in the ring. Now I'm out here to talking bullshit, but you know what it means when you out here feeling high, just freestyling. Just you just keys and they wildin'. I don't know, just be smiling. <laughs> Last words. Um, my hands tired. And there it is. It's hard being an artist, but we out here. Peace.